Welcome back, Akron fans, to the second, well, the third day, second game of the 2012 Christmas Tournament Casts. This is a tournament that ran from December 21st to 23rd, hosted by Rockmox, who will be watching today fighting against Crown Aberrant. But before we do that, I'm just going to go over the results so far. So today we've only seen Ferritor versus Crown Aberrant. Crown Aberrant beating Ferritor in a very interesting Chronoport heavy game involving some proxy bases and sieges. Bases around the map. Great use of Tomb of Heroes, by the way. That was really entertaining to watch. So today we're going to see Rockmox versus Cron Aberrant on what else but hills. We'll see how they would turn it out, but Rockmox, like I said, he's a tournament host and one of the competitors fighting against Cron Aberrant, who is currently doing very well in the tournament. Has not lost a single match thus far, and neither has Rockmox. So this is really This is the last match of players who have not been in the losers bracket and after this match it'll be all losers bracket matches until the semifinals or I guess yeah I guess that is how it works so this one by the way it was best of one even though I mentioned before it was supposed to be semifinals and finals best of three it got a little bit muddy at this point so essentially this is going to be a semifinals match sort of but best of one Afterwards, any matches that happen from winners of this match are going to be best of threes, as far as I'm aware. But we still need to go through the loser's bracket. Anyhow, Cron Aberrant is starting up. He has his, well, very quick four Octos. Looks like he might be going for an all-in, while Rockmox is going for the standard 3RP, 1 Importer Factory build. That we've seen quite a lot in version 1.3. And Cron Aberrant using his Arcticus to scout as well, while getting these Octos, well one of the Octos up to scout, and the other three might be building up RPs, but they don't have the money to do any of that. Not sure why he built the four Octos instead of three Octos, which is standard. Rather odd setup, but Cron Aberrant might go back to fix that up, or he might be just using it as an all-in, seeing if he can actually pull that off. And given what Rockmox has, I think he might be able to, but I'd like to see it. So, Rockmox... Actually, look at these. He is planning on expanding to the northwest very quickly, and his scouting sop and marine are also going into Cranamer's base. We'll see the Octos built up there. So at the very least, that'll be good defense, but... Right now, Cranamer actually very quickly attacking these, this importer right here. That will be huge if he manages to destroy that. Rockmox... Rockmox actually changing around, keeping a marine at home. Looks like he's not going to scout out with that, or rather go to the northwest with that. Just keep it at home and instead use that to defend against the Octo. Because that Octo, if it destroys that Importer here, that's pretty much game over for Rockmox. He hasn't spent anything from that Importer yet. But no, the Octo instead of being distracted by the factory, I don't know if Cron Aberrant... No, this is when, this is before Cron Aberrant ordered to attack the Importer. The high priority target, having two reserves in it right now, I think Rockmox will be spending one of them on a Marine. Because he doesn't want to, I'm sure he doesn't want to lose them. And what is... Okay, Cronaberrant is definitely going for an all-in. Moving his Sepi and Faro over to the southwest corner of the map. And as Octo getting rid of the Marine that was already here, I think Rockmox is going to be getting more Marines. I'm sure he's going to be spending his reserves as soon as he can. His... These are just... This is a starting Marine, though. And yes, the Octo is attacking the Importer quite heavily. But we see the Marine and Special Ops coming in, but the three Octos will be able to defend against them just fine. And... And where'd that Octo go? Odd. Cronaberrant seems to be holding that Octo back for some strange reason. Maybe going for an edge attack or something else. No, he is in fact moving his Octos out completely. So having scouted what he needed, now going for a proper all-in attack. This is going to be a very short, brutal game if it works, and a very long, drawn-out game if it doesn't. But we see that the starting units coming in are obliterating Rockmox's scouting infantry, and Rockmox can build a bit more infantry to deal with this, but he can't build it much else. The factory coming in a bit too late to actually deal with that. And it looks like that, yeah, the last Marine we saw is going to be destroyed. Rockmox only has the money and production ability to create Marines. However, this factory is almost done, so with one ATHC, won't be exactly enough, but it might help. A Lancer would really help, but it looks like Crown a bit ahead of Rockmox, able to obliterate that importer. Then we'll be able to go to the factory and armory in no time. But like I said, Rockmox likely to be building up infantry. Or if not infantry, then waiting for the ATHCs and trying to use that. 
But Cron Aberrant really focused on getting rid of everything that Rockmox has. Which would be a very good idea, too. Octopod coming up as well in proxy. So, Cron Aberrant is being really sneaky about this. So, on top of the Octopods, or on top of the Octos, and Octopods, so even an ATHC would not work against this. Rockmox back at the 150 mark, unplayable past edge, doing his best to get out of this. Moving a Marine over to the top left corner of the map, or to his natural, not even the top left corner yet. Trying to escape the wrath of Cron Aberrant. But I'm not sure how well that's going to work. In fact, I seriously doubt that's going to work well. Like I said, Cron Aberrant is just going to get rid of this importer in no time. And here comes a Lancer. This is about the only thing that could possibly work, but even then, as I mentioned before, Octopods beat Lancers one-on-one. -on -one. And with Seppi's support, that's going to be almost impossible. So, right now, it just looks like Cron Aberrant trying to do what harassment he can, getting rid of all the economic base that Rockmox has, making absolutely sure that he can't do anything from here, and then... This Lancer coming up will be a, the one problem that might ha that might come up, but even with that, the Autos will be able to get rid of these RPs, no problem. Seppi coming in for support, getting rid of this Lancer. However, I really think you should go back and build that Octopod. That Octopod is going to be huge. Like I said, it'll beat the Lancer one-on-one, -on -one and a Reef in the main base. Okay, he's being even more audacious. And his Arctic is still floating in, but a mech set up to help possibly defend against the Arctic is not sure what else it could do. No money for... Really, no money for anything. One RP being built in the natural expansion, but that's about it. Rockmox does not have a whole lot going for him right now. This all-in attack is working out very well. And here goes the far with progening with the Seppi. We'll probably be building an Octopod. There we go. There's the Octopod I'm looking for. Because that will be able to take care of this Lancer. And the Lancer is still not getting rid of these Octos fast enough. And all of the RPs in the main base have been destroyed. And an Octopod coming in here will finish everything off. The Lancer trying to do what it can. But really, this RP is the only, and this Marine is the only thing Rockmox has going for him. So if Crown Aberrant can't find it, he's going to be in for a bit of a long, rough game. But if he can't find it, then he will be fine. And Lancer coming in here, getting completely destroyed by the Octopod and Seppi. And Rockmox going to try to rebuild what he can, but losing everything in his main base. He only has small amount of resources left, and certainly not enough to build anything with, unless he's trying to save up for RPs, which is probably what he's trying to do. But once his factory goes down, there really isn't much to go for him. Where? Well, he is building an importer, and he's trying to build a macrofab, but that will not work. He is, does not have the money for it. I don't know why he's even trying. It looks like from Crown Aberrant's point of view, Crown Aberrant is wise to this, or at least following the mech. Like, no, he's not going to the main base, he's going to the center, assuming that Rockmox is hidden there, and not in his natural expansion. I mean, he knows that Southwest expansion has been taken, and an RP being built up, so he is taking over Rockmox's base completely, building his second RP. That's Crown Aberrant's second RP, by the way. But he will be able to obliterate everything Rockmox had in his main base. And I would call this a base trade, except for the fact that Crown Aberrant never really had a base to begin with. He had the one RP, and the try has already been moved. But this army will be going down very quickly, and this importer and this RP are the only things that Rockmox has. Rockmox could build some infantry out of this once he gets reserves from his importer, which will be, well, another 20 seconds from now. And that's... this is pretty much the game. I really don't know what Rockmox has up his sleeve. I don't see anything coming up on the map. This RP is trying to hide, get out of the way, but there's not much it can do. I mean, really, it's... get out into the... Northwest, but this army is going down too quickly. Crown Aberrant just can be able to build up, basically building up a base inside of Rockmox's base, not caring at all about this one armory. And he is scouting everything out. So nicely done, Crown Aberrant finding what Rockmox has quickly to avoid dragging this one out. Though the Marine is still at large, I believe. Let's double check. Yes, he is. The Marine is right here. And the Octopod will not see it. It is going towards the center of the map. Actually, looks like he's going towards the north center of the map. Actually, going towards the northeast, going towards Crown Aberrant's third. This will be a little bit interesting, but I don't think Crown Aberrant will miss it for long. I'll probably just get rid of the... I mean, if he gets rid of the RP before building anything else, there's nothing this Marine can do. And, I ex where's the infantry? Rockmox is not building any defensive infantry here. Though, frankly, I don't know how much good it would do, but... He isn't building much of anything, and this is going to be... Oh, yes, building a Marine. It might help. 
And another Marine. Getting two Marines. Trying to do what they can. But probably best thing to do would be to run away with that Marine for a little while. And he's doing exactly that. Run away with the Marine. Build another Marine in the meantime. And at least has a bit more force. No, running away with that too. So trying to make find the Marine that much harder of a game to play for Kron Aberrant. However, since Kron Aberrant has one find the RP, Rockmox really can't build anything else. That and find the importer. So Rockmox, all he can do is troll around with these three Marines, two of which are being torn to shreds by Octos, by the way. They're not going to last very long at all. The Octos can easily catch up, and they're much faster than the Marines are. And going down, only one Marine remains. And Kronhammer doesn't seem to quite know where that is, but he's going to find it soon enough. And even if he doesn't, he has this main base in the bag. So I think Rockmox is just going to surrender right now. He can't build anything. He has maybe one RP up. No, he doesn't. Doesn't even have that. Trying to get rid of the one Grecom RP here, and yeah, Rockmox surrendering. That was a short game on hills, which is not surprising given the size of the map. I've actually been surprised, to be perfectly honest. I've been surprised how often games on hills have been long. But that's the game, and as you can see, so Cron Aberrant into the. I guess semifinals against whoever wins in the losers bracket. Rockmox in the losers bracket semifinals. And now we will see well, what's next, I believe. It is Vermine versus Haiku will be next, so don't go away. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs>